Radon levels flux are changing like this. Radon levels are different. Levels fluctuate and change. Watch it, the levels fluctuate. I try to explain to customers all the time that a short-term radon test is exactly that. It's a short-term test, so we're seeing a snapshot of time. And radon levels change because the factors that influence radon entry are also changing all the time. Wind direction, wind speed, outside temperature, occupant behavior, ventilation, all those things are changing. So we see this sinusoidal, you know, variation of radon levels over time. It's very interesting. So if you test your home once when you move in and you think you're safe and you never test again, you're doing yourself a disservice because you could have high radon levels two months out of the year, three months out of the year, six months out of the year, and you might miss that with that two-day snapshot. The benefit of long time is the longer you measure something, the more accurate the, the result is. So with a radon mitigation system, there's a big misconception that because I have a system and the fan is running, that it's being mitigated. And that's not always the case. And so I always recommend that long-term ongoing monitoring is going to be the only way to know how your system is actually working or not. Radon exposure is dangerous in, in a long-term level. You develop lung cancer during a 10 to 15 years period. So it doesn't matter you know, if you're going into a room with a high value for one minute. You can live with that. If you make a long-term measurement, it reflects much more the risk with radon than a short-term measurement. Know your numbers. The continuous monitor tells you on a regular basis if you're good and tells you what your next step is. And that could lead to possible mitigation, which could lead to possibly saving your life. <music>